Question number 7 says that simplify bit 1 and bit 2. Before we start solving them, let's revise few of the laws of exponents which would be applicable or useful in simplifying these two bits. So the first one is a raised to m times a raised to n equals a raised to m plus n. That is when bases are same and they are in multiplication, the powers get added. The second one is a raised to m divided by a raised to n equals a raised to m minus n. Now when the bases are same and they are in division, the powers get subtracted. Now let's start solving bit 1. In here we see that we have 25 times t raised to negative 4. Now as we know that 25 is a square of 5, we can write it as 5 raised to 2 times t raised to negative 4 divided by 5 raised to negative 3 times 10. Now 10 can be written as a product of 5 and 2 and we times it with t raised to negative 8. Now we get that as 5 raised to 2 times t raised to negative 4 times as we have t raised to negative 8 the bases are same so when it goes to the numerator the power will become positive so that it becomes simpler for us to simplify. This whole will be divided by 5 raised to negative 3 and as the power of 5 here is 1, bases are same, we add the power. So, we write it as 5 raised to negative 3 plus 1 times 2. So, that gives us 5 raised to 2 times t raised to negative 4 plus 8. As the bases are same and are in multiplication, the powers get added. And that is divided by 5 raised to negative 2 times now we can see here 5 raised to 2 is divided by 5 raised to negative 2. The bases are same. So we will subtract the powers. So we get it as 5 raised to 2 minus of minus 2. That becomes positive. So we get it as 2 plus 2 times t raised to 4. And this whole is divided by 2. So on addition we get the power of 5 as 4. So that is 5 is multiplied to itself 4 times. And so we get that as 625 times t raised to 4 and this whole is divided by 2. This is the answer for the first bit. Now let's go on to the second bit. In the second bit we have 3 raised to negative 5 times 10 raised to negative 5. Now 10 raised to negative 5 can be written as 2 times 5 whole raised to negative 5 as 10 is a product of 2 and 5 times 125 which is a cube of 5 so we can write it as 5 raised to 3 divided by 5 raised to negative 7 times 6 raised to negative 5 now 6 can be written as a product of 2 and 3 so we write it as 2 times 3 whole raised to negative 5 so that gives us 3 raised to negative 5 times the power gets individually given to both the factors 2 and 5 so we can write it as 2 raised to negative 5 times 5 raised to negative 5 times 5 raised to 3 whole divided by 5 raised to negative 7 times 2 raised to negative 5 times 3 raised to negative 5. Now let's cancel whatever gets cancelled. So we have 3 raised to negative 5 and 3 raised to negative 5 which gets cancelled. We have 2 raised to negative 5 and 2 raised to negative 5 which again gets cancelled. So now let's simplify the rest. We have 5 raised to negative 5 times 5 raised to 3. The bases are same so the powers must get added. We write it as 5 raised to negative 5 plus 3 divided by 5 raised to negative 7. So we get that as 5 raised to negative 2 divided by 5 raised to negative 7. Now the bases are same so we can simply write it as 5 raised to the subtraction of the powers. So minus 2 
minus of minus 7. So that becomes minus 2 plus 7. So that gives us the power of 5s, 5. And this is how we solve this problem. To know more about how QMath can help you become a master of math, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program taught by highly experienced and committed teachers.